Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I have a right to be secure in my uh, person. Yes. In whatever residences I might have, my personal papers and uh, my, my effects. Yes. Against the unreasonable searches and seizures of police departments that know that I wasn't in Squim. Yeah. I wasn't in Brennan. Oh. Now, I'm going to need to know every individual in those or on those committees, the armed services committees. Yeah. That said, well, I'm a senator or representative in the United States Congress mm -hmm. that vetted any of the one to four star generals or admirals where they said, well, where did you go to your military college training at? Yeah. Yeah. Did you have a signed letter from a congressman or congresswoman, a senator or representative? In fact, why don't you get me the letters of recommendation? Mm -hmm. For every one to four star general of the United States military for the last 40 years, where they, they were outstanding in high school? Yes. And they needed that special letter for somebody that was an oath of office at that time, approximately 25 years ago. Yeah. So they could get admitted to West Point or the Navy Academy or one of these other schools. And then when you graduated, the Navy said, oh, you're an officer now. Good for you. Good for you. And then you decided to continue your education at the expense of the United States military, where you thought being a harebrained individual, yes, in the Ishii family, because the gravy train's going to end today, okay, Admiral, poop where you're just going to make dogs of American citizens so that you can control them. Yeah. Now, Admiral Greenert, Admiral Willard, Ooh. <laughs> Admiral Willard, I know you got that nice job at the, uh, the nuclear facilities. Yes. In fact, maybe we should put a little gamma in the nuclear power. Is anybody producing any dirty nuclear energy that could be broadcast through television? Yeah. So you could be on one another. Oh. Could you get me all of the actual locations where they manufacture any atomic or nuclear energy? And are you leaking a little bit through the television system? <laughs> so you had this very exciting experience last night. I was watching this this movie. Yes. Some very attractive women. It was America 3000. Yes. And I noticed they were all smaller-breasted women. I was somewhat frustrated by that, but I'm I'm partial to bigger-breasted women. <laughs> and, uh, well, they found this old bunker for the President of the United States. And it was, um, it was kind of interesting. A message was waiting for the President after a complete holocaust of nuclear arsenals had bombed both sides and then... You really had to pay attention to the language of the inhabitants of America after that experience. <coughs> I I was having to interpret what they were saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, um, we do know where the nuclear arsenal is. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we do know the television sets of those that work there. Yeah. And we do know how they can be on one another. <laughs> Why don't we gamma the TVs of those in America's nuclear arsenals and the actual employees of all nuclear plants and atomic plants? I know I'm not a favorite among the American population. I said that I'd like to scrap all nuclear energy. I think there's some better technology that involves the use of old oh, tin foil, solar film, and water. Yes, yes, yes. But considering the number of roofs and the number of uh, walls available, yeah, I think I can actually place all of the uh, use of nuclear energy with my very green technology. <laughs> and then I can just sue the shield out of every general and admiral that disagrees. <laughs> now, I know you like having this idea. Oh, look at that, Pakistan. It's hot over there, isn't it? <laughs> Israel. Ouch. Listen, BB, your wall that works 99.9% .9 of the time? Yeah. I was watching a televised broadcast of President Donald Trump explaining how good it worked. Could you get me the location of all the atomic power in the Middle East? As well as your nuclear arsenal and 
the TV sets of all of those employed in the military of Israel. <laughs> I wouldn't want somebody's finger to slip on the button and say, oh my gosh, look at that, nuclear war. <clears throat> I was watching America 3000 last night. and I tell you, if that's what we have to look forward to because a bunch of idiots think walls work, yes, they don't. Now, if the president thought, okay. Why do we make one big long solar panel across the southern part of the United States and instead of making it out of concrete or steel, yes, yes, we can make it out of recycled garbage, yes, and we could use a solar film, yeah, and it was my innovation, yes, and it looks like a wall but it produces electricity, yes. Now wouldn't it be nice to build a wall that pays for itself? <laughs> I know a lot of Mexicans, they try to drill right through it, but at those temperatures and that density, yeah, I could probably build a wall that pays for itself in approximately 20 years, considering <laughs> the actual climate of the southern part of the United States. Yes, the president isn't attempting to use my intellectual property to justify the $5.6 billion that they were going to spend on steel. <laughs> When you could be buying my recycled garbage, solar film, hot roof technology wall, 